Uh, okay. All right. Now it's working. Um. Yeah. There's new version, but there's still a few quests I gotta do. Uh, world quests, not story, main story, I think. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, okay. I hope there isn't anything new around those quests. Let's check there. I got one less page to put a book. I'm not gonna read out the others again. Uh, and then there should be continuation to the quest. Mm -mm. Mm, the bot isn't working. Uh, okay, so the Melusin isn't back yet. Uh, the Cypher page. The last one. Everything has become consummately clear. All meaningless obstacles have, been, have vanished. This trial was a great success. I know now what I must do. This process appeared to have... Uh, to have cost me some time and experience, but that won't matter. I shall have all the time in the universe after all. I am become Narcissan Cross. The memories do not seem to match the records. Perhaps most of the content has solved completely before it could be compre comprehended. Meditate. Begin to meditate. Should be a quest here. But where? A moment, please. Where's the quest really here? Or would it start outside? I don't want you to go for all here. That's quite like what the narwhal did. Stabilize! Order guide you! Let's what if this does something? Get a little chilly. 
That was an especial over there. Okay, I don't remember what happened after I got here. Oh, and just back here. How do I start this quest? I guess I won't be able to do everything here. I'll have to apparently I'll have to wait some days after the first part. Damn it. I should have I should have done this sooner. Where is this? If you ever see any stickers on my back, do me a favor and take them off. Malazines like to play pranks sometimes. There isn't anything here. Okay. Um let's start. Yeah, I think you'll be better. I thought I would get access to the next part of this quest once I I got to I got the book complete no apparently it's those mirrors and there's something inside the tower as well that I haven't gone back to check yet so I'm going to start there, see if I get something, like a quest or anything, I guess it's here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, but okay, I just have to wait two in-game days, so I can just wait and and get where I need to. Okay, let me check the map. Mm, the problem is I won't know which level 
whatever uh, I'm looking for would be. Uh, just strange for two. Some comments written in purple ink. The rabbit spot to watch is in truth the beginning of the dream. Uh, the watch is a precise timekeeper, but the flow of time in Dreamland is madness. When the clock chimes, all shall wait. Marianne, whom people often mistake little for, could, but could it not be that they were at first one and the same? The caterpillar has all the hallmarks of maturity: the pipe, the reading glasses, the knowledge. Yet a larva he remains, not yet a butterfly. One who lacks the confidence to break through the cocoon shall die before it ever becomes a soul. But moths have no mouth parts, and thus they can only leap into the flames. We are hearts, the one who loved the cats, the white nerd who mumbled about his little inventions, the red queen in the end, all her dreams, and she was a little mother cat. No, this part seems familiar, but I didn't remember that part about the rabbit. Okay, but it is the, the books that were here before. Red is a foundish principle, yellow represents mortal news. Okay, mm. let's take a look around here. Uh, that, I guess, was not here. I don't remember a mirror in here, but I have checked the ones outside again. I'm not fully sure which one I did go through. Uh, oh! Ah, another fish. I couldn't get through those before, could I? It's the chiller. Ah, so that's how I complete the... Ah. Okay. Hey, we meet again, huh? You are with Paimon this time. Paimon wasn't here before. And Paimon was here when we meditated here last time. Is that so? I don't remember. No matter, it's all thanks to you that I found the location of the looking glass and the flowers that are about to bloom. And deepen my understanding of this place. Uh, talking to Kanatilla is as confusing as ever. Oof. Um, but... Oof, oof. Okay, okay, here you go. Uh, she's talking to the puppy. Could it be that Melusine can generally communicate with dogs? We could hear a dog, a dog and a cat now. How incredible. Well, I guess that's that. I'll see you next time. Uh, even if you said that, I'm still coming back to play with you. Let's go, Mr. Inus, Paimo. Oh, we came here just to pick you up. Oh, and we wait all the way back here. Uh, well, here we are again. What is it? I feel really bad for saying this since everyone is so nice to me, all of you, but... Don't you feel the real world is so frighteningly dull? Don't you think the world in the book is far more beautiful? I think so too. I don't think so. There's no difference to me. No, there's not much there. Is that so? Maybe that's right. I'm not normal. I still feel the world in the Book of Revealing is much more appealing. There are deal covered petals everywhere, and I finally made friends with the puppy. That puppy, uh, Concealer, can you communicate with dogs? Mm, of course not. However, the puppy in the Book of Revealing is special, or maybe I'm special. I've been meditating to travel to the world in the book. And then one day, the puppy's usual barking turned into something I couldn't understand. As for what we talked about, he asked me to go and never come back. But I still want to see the sunflowers bloom. Is that so? Uh, take care, Kanchila. 
<laughs> we'll be going. But we we'll just ignore her. Okay, now I should wait to win game days. Uh, but maybe I'll go back if I have time to the tower. I think there's something new to fight there. I once considered keeping some pets in my office, but soon gave up on the idea. It's just not right to keep small. She's supposed to be. The picture in the map isn't really clear where she is. It should be here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems to be here. That she would be. Maybe that wasn't true in game days. Maybe I have to teleport away and then back. Mm. Bosses don't really respond when I'm close. Uh, let me teleport away just in case. Take their lives away, anyway. Let's heal them. Ah, okay. Now it is a quest. Maybe it's because I was here. Oh, there was something different. The contents of the book, blah blah blah. Gantilla doesn't seem to be here. Maybe she's in the mysterious place again. Should we start meditating? Have you heard what she said last time? I'm a little bit concerned. I'm going to check out. Well, this is kind of unsettling, but let's go together. Why don't you wait out here for me? Why? What? Didn't we agree to never leave each other? And the world in the book of revealing? It may be more dangerous than we imagined. Maybe there's a side of it that we don't know about. Yeah, but it wouldn't be worse if we got separated somehow. I don't I don't want you to take the risk. But we've been journeying together this whole time, haven't we? There's no hardship we can overcome and no enemies we can defeat together. The dangers inside may not be something poor Salon can resolve. Okay, now you're saying Paimon is dumb. Well, if you insist, you're smarter than Paimon, so Paimon has faith in you. Just don't abandon on Paimon. Paimon, wait right here until you return. Uh, let me get ready first. Let me get ready first, sure. I can read that again, can you? Ah, the content in the page is still consistent in comprehensible symbols, letters, and ancient languages, and geometric figures. But a period of folks seem to wear to render their meanings comprehensible. Maybe that is the same thing that was before. When you made it now, do be careful. Yeah. Yeah, just a picture of your 
Gradually, you will profoundly familiar your familiar world enters your field of view here. Uh, is not where I got from the or over there? That's. Over there, where? Oh! Uh, um, we didn't bring a torpedo here, did we? Oh! flowers in bloom that were once cherished by someone there is little special about it unless it be the place where it fell a little gratitude and remembers may be the key to moving forward oh oh where should the figure you show the name already oh Pursuit figure. Ah. Better pillar. Looks like he can hear me. Better pillar. Better pillar. Who's there? It's you, I remember you. What brings you here? I was just going to ask you the same thing. Nothing, it's just that... You're Ings, right? And where is the little white thing that's always with you? What was her name again? Why isn't she here? Pam was waiting for me outside. Are you alright? Was that her name? Anyway, it doesn't matter. You're a good person, and so is Paimon. I came here to look for something important. Oh, hi. I didn't notice the chat there. Uh, do you know what is it I'm looking for? Never mind, forget what that I asked. Why are you here anyway? This place is very dangerous. You should turn around now. There were people who once came here for the trial, but they lost their way. And their minds turned to mush. Hmm. I remember now, you and I, we accomplished something incredible together. The only thing in my life that I'm proud of. You mean... Defeating Narcissus Cross, Rascal Lanoir. Uh, I think that was of a higher level of importance to the world. What happened to him? Are you a member of the Narcissus Cross Ordo? Or are you one of the Kilutin's people? Ah, the golden butterfly, as shiny as the sun itself. Once you have a little a light like that, everything will... everything... Huh? <laughs> Did I complete all the things with the other fishes? That was the last one. Because I only noticed... I'm not sure there are fishes. Uh, I only saw one of those. Only noticed one of those. <laughs> That's so. That makes things easier then. What's your name? Caterpillar. I didn't. I think I'd see you here in the Super Spinal though. I don't see her. Wait, you're not some monster who swims from someone I know in order to trick me, are you? We just saw each other not long ago. S that's so. It feels like a long time has passed since we said farewell. Might be just my age. Uh, and my memory getting worse as I get older. Are you sure you're not a monster? Do you still remember? 
the giant's garden, the apprentice and the little fish. The apprentice and the little fish. I, I don't remember what, what was that. I remember the story of the giant's garden. Can we talk more about that? I remember, yes. Ah, it's really you. Okay, I don't. I don't remember. Prince and little fish. Sorry, I've encountered too many incredible things here and many battles that could not be won. But things have finally changed here. Golden rays of light have arisen, and the sunflowers have bloomed. Even the universe the ancient ones speculated about is not immune to changes. Maybe things will get better, maybe I will finally understand and be able to let go. Caterpillar, come with me. I suppose it really is you, I remember now, I knew you, and you haven't changed. You are always sticking your nose in someone else's business, but that's because you are kind and honest. But you don't have to worry about me, I don't need help. You've seen what I'm capable of. And perhaps I know more about this place than even you do. It's true, tell the boy to leave at once. Oh no, it's the puppy. Let's see. Do you have something to tell me? I didn't pay attention. Was the puppy saying before? Oh, that was the first line it said. Can you understand what I'm saying? I see. Let me ask you, what am I in your eyes? A dog. Uh, maybe there's still hope. Leave this place, young one. It's for your own good. Young one, are we really that young? I agree. Inus, you belong to a brighter world. I uh, have a question. You shouldn't. Goodbye and don't come back. You just kick me out? I won't just live like this. Your real name is... Hmm. You're back. How long was I gone for? Uh, just a blink of an eye. It was just a blink of an eye to you. What's wrong? Nothing. I suppose it really is dangerous inside. Oh. Uh. I really like to know how long has Kanatila been there. Is that so? Anyway, where's Kanatila? She didn't go because come a guard in the court of Fontaine, did she? I'm feeling a little dizzy, let's come back next time. Okay, should we find something to eat? Paimon was so worried about you that she's not starving. Wasn't just a blink of an eye for you? Well, it took a lot of effort to worry about you. Okay, I suppose I have to wait again. Uh, let me just... Oh, damn, should I close the map? Let me just check if it's two days again. If it is, if somebody's saying that it is in game days. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait and wait, so just wait there while I check. Hmm. Okay, it will be just two in game days after. Have you ever seen any stickers on my back? But yeah, I suppose I have to take them off. Teleport away and back again. Okay, let's wait another day. 
like before and then teleport to the same place the Court of Fontaine yeah, because uh, two days if it is considered exactly for eight hours maybe you need to take one more to complete the second day yeah now here's the quest on the pages okay and are still going to meditate we haven't found Kanatula yet we just left her there for two more days that could be years I'm going to need you to give me another moment, Paimon. Okay, then. Is this a blink of eye anyway? Paimon's not worried at all. Still, be careful, Ines. Don't worry. The edges of the pages blur gradually. Okay. Ah, there she is now. Ah, and there's the other one. Oh. Mr. Inus, didn't we just see each other? When did we last meet? I'm not sure, after all, it's hard to keep track of time in a place like this. Come with me, Kanachila. Something about this place doesn't feel right. Mm, but don't we get to decide what feels right or not? I didn't mean to be so deep, but I really like this place. It's full of life and colors, things I've never seen on the other side. I only saw some flower. Really? Wow, where? Where I saw the puppy. Oh yeah, there's a sunflower in the the mirrors. Uh, okay, I'm going there now. Wait. Uh, do I have to bring all Kanachillas there? Uh, so, can I chill? Uh, Mr. Inus, who are you? I thought no one could get in here beside me. Wait, how do you know my name? We know each other. Like, Serene sent me to find you. Why would I lie? We know each other. Why would I? I have the option. I never, I never had the option to lie. <laughs> uh, always making her worry like this. I'm such a bad child. I'm Inus. Do you still remember me? Right, Mr. Innes, I remember now. Even though you're a giant monster who could swallow the world in one glove, you're very kind. Yeah, how rude. Thank you. What's happened? I saw a few people, but then they slowly melted and turned into monsters. Uh, that's kind of scary. Oh. So, what's up? Oh, come on. Uh, Paimo, watch out for the other. Uh, is Paimo here? No. Ah, oh, damn it. He didn't jump. I mean, I had the option to lie on it some other times, but. Not usually like that in a dialogue even marked like that i see the flames on the throne have been extinguished but and the burnt ashes have once again turned into trees flowers bloom with your every step bringing change to an otherwise inevitable decay in the future canatilla uh, it's miss ignus uh what brings you here Oh, right, the golden butterfly has returned. I need to go and see it. Goodbye. Uh, none over there. Oh, there's a mirror down there. Ah, oh, probably the path I'll have to take. Come, Attila. 
Uh, you're finally back. Don't disappear like that. Don't you know how worrying it is? Just imagine what will happen if you never returned. Do you have any idea how long you were inside? It felt like the waiting would never end. Even the other Melusines had no idea how to help. Seems like I've been here for quite a while then. Well, I've got to go. Well, what? Is, where are you going? Don't worry. I'll come back once I find you, Kanatila. Choose with for me a little longer, okay? I know that saying this to you won't change much. But still trust me. Venus. What's up this place? Oh, I, I thought this would be blocked. I don't remember that here. Huh. Yeah. Mm, but what if I went up there? Kanachila, the first Kanachila says she will go. Oh. Uh, this one doesn't have a painting with a sunflower. kill you do we have to fight uh how do i live here Probably part of the quest. This is I probably won't want base if I don't fight you. Strike a Let's begin. <laughs> oh, good. It's over already. Ah, dwarfs there. I'm back. Gonna chill, huh? Trainers. Wait, why isn't Pam with you? A rift? What are you looking at? What rift? Isn't this a mirror? Uh, speaking of that, there's some that I've been looking for. I'm trying to find clues to the looking glass. It looks like painting and lets people meditate in a similar manner to the Book of Revealing. About the four orthans and the painting in the Tower of Gestalt. Wait, the one in the tower was a painting? And not a mirror. Really? So it's in a place like that? Okay, thank you, Mr. Inus. Okay, we'll probably fight again. Okay, start. But. Oh! Uh. Oh. I mean, ah, uh, why not make invisible walls since that was an invisible floor? The mage we were seeing. Ah, and there is. Uh. Okay. Uh, but that's a bit high.
Stabilize! Truth bomb! Shower me with it! Away now! Well, this help. Let my name echo in song! Continue. No, what about here? Uh, I don't remember what this one take it there. Huh. Could I just have glided down there? Solidify! Order guide you! Have a safe trip! Strike a pose! A moment, please. Oh no! Thanks, Mitrinus. What happened? I don't know, I just want to see the blooming sunflowers and the cute puppy. But a monster came after me, and the sky got darker. I heard many voices talking about things that I didn't understand. I was scared, so I followed the golden light and went forward. The world got a little darker whenever the monster came near. The garden, the palace, the great trees, and the flowers all disappeared. It was very gloomy, and I only saw ruins. And then the monster caught up to me. You don't have to worry now. Puppy, please send her back. Don't come around here anymore, little one. There's nothing here, but there's a whole world waiting for you out there. Uh, are you the puppy? But we'll see you again. Will this world become a beautiful guardian again? No. Goodbye. And you, let me ask you one more time. What am I in your eyes? A dog? That's good. You just got rid of someone who shouldn't be here. And thanks to you, this world's collapse has stopped. But it is unwise for any of you to stay all the same. I figure as much. Please send me back. What's going on? This world is going to disintegrate. Because someone who shouldn't be here arrived. Shaking the foundations of this world. Is that why I saw what I saw? I don't know what you experienced. I am not you after all. And who are you then? That is not important. What's important is that is the masters of this imaginary world. So we are not from Tevat. The narwhal is from Tevat. Just our presence could collapse the world they believed that they could save the world but they didn't know if this world actually needed to be saved uh, maybe the world in their memories was but an afternoon forever perfect of blooming sunflowers but those who are those are their stories and not mine i'm just a memory that they have of their friend they once believed that they could save me but ultimately, the butterfly became a cocoon, and a larva em emerged from the cocoon. Then, the larva returned to the void, and that was never born. But none of these things matter, I have nothing left. I am just a shadow in their memories, left behind by their obsession to save me. I don't hate them though, even if they changed after losing me. 
may exist in this world of memories and illusions proof of their per persistence. As someone who was once their friend, I am more than satisfied. No matter what I become, I am forever grateful for the friendship we once had. Anyway, let's end it here. You can feel the influence of this place has on you, can't you? Farewell, we won't see each other again. Well, what explanations? Log. Was this here before? This was the only method to which I could resort in order to preserve him. What if he cannot be restored? I'm scared. This is different from that time with Carter. But no, I must be calm. Renee needs my help. Now more than ever, what is the most reasonable course of action he could take at this time? I need to first keep this condition under wraps so that the order will not collapse. I need to come up with some reasonable pretense, so I'm not sure how, how long it will hold. We need to well, at least ensure the Tower of Gestalt's completion. The stark contrast between how he'd always say so much to me in the present is utterly heart-wrenching. There should still be hope, according to our research, if we can further break down and purify Director Leary's presence, perhaps essence, uh, perhaps uh, with the principles behind the ancient goddess. If after if all goes well, we sh we should also be able to cure Carter. In the end, and departed in great sorrow. I should not have lost my temper, so, but I did not know how to answer her, and I did not wish to deceive her. Ellen is through with us. I do not wish to lose her too, but as long as Renee is restored, surely she and Ellen will. I've been interpreting the data in search of a solution and sharing the results with Renee. There, is still, there has still been no response, but I can already envision his response with perfect clarity. Criticize the Universitas Magistratum for putting the cart before the horse, neglecting the fundamental principles underlying everything and diving and diving straight into the and diving straight the details of how to put those techniques to use. How they inverted even the alchemical stages for other purposes. I have successfully re extracted that part of the persona and story in the orthods. At least the connection with the primordial waters. I found research notes like men possessed. Rene will be quite surprised when the time comes. I've gotten used to projecting confidence to people. No one in the order seems to suspect, or perhaps they dare not suspect. But in truth, I have become somewhat disappointed in them. It seems that there was an alchemist from Caria named R who joined a secret order. Oh. From what, what fragmentary records exist, perhaps that they made significant headway. It appears that they made significant headway. But the available materials are scarce. If Rene doesn't recover, the order will slowly dissolve. Uh, if we were all mistaken, they and the colossal beasts, the apocalypse are false. Will there be others who shall research the trail left behind, as I am now? This idea needs to be tested on someone else first, but that means I'm afraid there's no other way, no other way around, no other way out. I have recently received reports that some of them have been taking, talking amongst themselves. I must figure out how to handle this. I suppose this can be considered a contribution to our research. After all, they are loyal to Rene and are not our enemies. This knowledge will prove most useful in helping Rene and to him as well. The conscious creation that arose from this showed great promise. Perhaps I finally found the right approach. Placed in the silver basin, gleaming, I taught them language and natural philosophy.
I decided to teach them how to paint, which could help exercise their newly grown prosthetic limbs. Generated a near identical persona, dissolved and disappeared and dispersed. It saddens me somewhat, but I believe should strain the form, maintain it for 32 days. The ones that ultimately survived were unstable blobs of water with rudimentary human forms. It seems that relying on the sword and lyricist's nature alone is insufficient. Uh, the thing of color remains. I have a few ideas. With this, along with some of the leftover material from Carter's current state, I'll use the pocket watch Alan gave me as the cornerstone to construct Rina's form. I never dared part with it, as it represents all the all the time Renee and I had shared. We were much luck luckier than those who dream still in those circular ruins. Reconstruction, according to my design, should be possible. I have named him. Uh, all that remains is to implant. He will not remember his two previous failures. These setbacks could obstruct his path to transcendence. He shall become our ideal narcissic cross. He shall take long strides and walk far ahead of me once more, casting his slender shadow in the sun. He shall guide us in shaping a new future. future. Uh, no one in which there will be a place for Alain and Anne. What remains for, of them can be used as material for other experiments. For example, we can graft them onto those who have lost their intellect. Or does this send me back there, or... Out. Okay. Oh, she's out. Whoa. Paimon, uh... That was super fast. Paimon didn't even have time to blink. That's a relief. So, did I vanish or not? Since she, she didn't even blink. Uh, Alright, our little troublemaker is back. Caratilla, you made Ames really worried, you know? I... I'm sorry. Uh, Paimon's not blaming you. Don't cry, Canatilla. Come on, Paimon will give you something delicious to eat. What happened? We encountered some danger inside. Oh. Don't cry, Canatilla. You are brave, brave Melusin. Here, this is Paimon's favorite chicken mushroom skewer. Take it, it's all yours. Well, thank you so much, Paimon. Chewy. Wow, such a strange taste. So this is what humans eat for their meals. What do Melusins eat? Because many live in the city with humans. Hey, if you don't want it, you can just give it back to Paimon. But thank you, and thank you for saving me, Mr. Ignus. What do you plan to do next? I don't know, but I don't want to read books anymore. Cantilla, isn't that a bit extreme? Well, um, the book of Rebellion is really scary. So what exactly happened? It's a long story. You only understand if you were there. It's a good it's a good thing you didn't go. Yeah. What do you mean? Uh Pamus got annoyed. Anyway, I don't want to stay here anymore. I want to live ever well in your sea village. That's right, the other medicines will take good care of you. Thank you, Mr. Ignis, Paimo. Okay, now it is complete here. Now... Uh, let's check the village, if she's there. Mm -hmm. 
instead of her. Oh, good. Uh, what should we give Serene? So long as it express her intentions, we can give her anything, can we not? Yeah, Carbos said the same thing. Oh, intentions, let me think. Mr. Chessu sent me a new clock, but would a clock really make the best birthday gift? After all, Serene's taking care of us all. This would be a great opportunity for me to give her a gift that will make her happy. Everyone wants that. So, if you think about it, gifting her something else might with her turning, right, turning away, right? Just say, I can accept something so valuable, or something like that. Yeah. And if that's the case, then why don't we make her a nice meal? The act of eating together will express her intentions perfectly. Yeah, you know the best kind of chilla? In that case, let's make that dish together. You want, you want to make that dish? Well, preparing will be a bit... Do they help? Uh, well, that... Uh, it's Mr. Ignis and Paimon. Uh, today's weather isn't bad either, Mr. Ignis. Did you find any new pages? I didn't have to have complete that. Uh, I don't know, we're talking about the Book of Revealing... Wait, hold on, no, don't change the subject. You were just talking about preparing something for Serene. Ah, I just remember there are notes that need to be collated. I need to get back right now. I have also remembered that I need to meet with Mr. Chesu tomorrow. I have to go now. See you, Mr. Ian Zimpaimo. What was that? Go there, butterflies. Uh, why did you all run off? Maybe they don't want anyone else to know. That's all we call birthday surprise. Was there plan to host a big birthday dinner for Serene? Don't you think of it? We haven't actually gotten to try Melusine's dishes. If it's a birthday celebration, the food should be extra fancy, right? We were already invited. But I'm starting to look forward to this birthday thing. You know, so why don't we find and help them? That's a birthday gift for someone else. Don't try, don't you try to sneak a bite, Paimon. Pa Paimon knows that, but if you prepare a dish with the melusines, you figure out how to make it, won't you? You know, in case Paimon wants some later. Uh, no, wait. Uh, Paimon means we. We can eat it together in the future. You read something else, Paimon? Anyway, let's go check up on them and see if they need our help with to prepare anything. Is this perhaps a new quest? Oh, this isn't even marked here. Are you there? You are, Ven Verenata. Hey there, you know, Spam. What do you need from me? Well, this has to do with what you were all chatting about earlier about preparing some food for Serene. No, 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 please stop talking. We want to make this a surprise for Serene, and don't want anyone else to know, not even Carabos. Don't worry, we won't tell a soul. We just want to help you prepare. This will make things easier for you too, right? Hmm, which are pretty reliable. If that's the case, I have a favor to ask. The dish we're trying to make usually uses fish. But Lutin told me that the outside world has something called bacon and that it tastes delicious. Monster Novelage has also enjoyed it before. Uh, so I think that if we can get some bacon, we might be able to cook something incredible. Just like Carbos always says, knowledge is power. Fountain is bacon. I'm not sure this has anything to do with knowledge. My fault thing is bacon. Yeah. Anyway, don't worry about it. You got this bacon thing down pat. This bacon that Lutin mentioned, I wonder what it is. Bacon. Whoa, so this is bacon. Thanks a lot, Inus Pamo. Still, it's a bit different from what I imagined. 
Don't you worry, bacon tastes good no matter how you prepare it. Really, I don't quite get that, but I'll do my best. Ah, oh, that's carbos. Damn it. I think I never spoke to you. Seems that trust I push. Ah, it's you. Okay, so I have. Uh, has been marvelously successful. I think that quite a few enhanced formulas can be made too. We very can decide their exact proportions. I suppose what is this? Would like push it. Uh, tell me about potion making by your assistant. No, I'm just passing through. Okay. Puka. Puka, about what you said earlier. Ah, that, that was supposed to be a secret. You can tell anyone else, not even Sluazi. Don't worry about a thing. We definitely won't tell anyone else. We just want to help you prepare. Two extra helpers will get will help get things ready faster, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you two would be a big help. Yeah, right? So, what do you need us to do? Mm, the other ingredients are pretty easy to prepare, but we still need that white and sweet thing. You mean sugar? No, not that. Sugar is dangerous. Eating that just once will make you always want to eat it. In the end, you get all round and stuff. Uh, just like a British Pime, Pimo, just like Pimo. Yeah, Pimo isn't round. Anyway, it, it was absolutely no sugar. I almost fell into its sweet, sweet trap in the past. We can't let the same thing happen to Serene. But what else is white and sweet besides sugar? Flower, perhaps? It stirs a Pimo. Flower isn't sweet. What is there a Pimo like that? Uh, what I'm trying to is flour. Hmm. First, we need to make it round, then we bake it till it's tasty and crispy. But I've used up all my flour, and Shanna doesn't have any either. We'll need to go out and get more. No problem, leave it to us. And let's check if we carry any flour. White and sweet. I wouldn't call it sweet. Thanks, Mr. Inus. Thanks, Paimo. This way we can make some delicious flatbread. Oh, Paimo can wait. No, oh, Camitilla. Ah, uh, Mr. Inus. So, um, about those new pages. Hey, come on, not about the pages. Aren't you trying to make that dish and prepare the relevant ingredients for it? Well, since you've overheard, I suppose there really is nothing for it. You two must be included in this as well. A question, if I may, Mr. Inus, what ingredient symbolizes birth to you? Egg. Something that, uh, something that bestows life and represents newborn. I believe you know what I'm looking for, yes? You mean like a bird egg? Yeah, that's right, sharp as always, I see. But I suppose you can see the rub too, can't you? We Melusins have short arms and can climb trees as well, so it will be very troublesome for one of us to get any bird eggs. Don't worry, leave it to me. You're not going to need a fresh one, are you? Uh, anyway, I leave it to you, alright? Uh, a bird egg, here. Thanks Mr. Inus, I'm sure that Serene will be happy too. Thanks, I'll go prepare the ingredients now. Alright, you've got this. Yeah, this way all the ingredients for the dish should be ready. Mm, you really are awesome, Mr. Inus. Alright, we'll leave the cooking to you, Ferenata. Alright, you can count on me. I learned the greatest, bestest, most powerful cooking methods from Carbos and Lutin. You got this? As long as it doesn't turn out like your potions. I don't make Pamela remember the smell. Uh, got it this time, don't worry about it. Uh, Carbos once said that the most important thing in cooking is vigor. And the will to never give up. 
We must never surrender to the ingredients, no matter what. This style of cooking is already entirely different from what I'm most familiar with. Uh, no worries, no worries, nothing will go wrong, probably. Under your supervision, Sir Veronata gathers two pieces of flatbread, seven fishes, seven fishes, the cooked bird egg, a sli sliced bacon before throwing them all into the pot at once and stirring away with focusing gusto. This really doesn't seem like the way flatbread is cooked, but it's too late to stop the process at this point. Mm, there we go, all done, easy peasy. It looks pretty good. I think Serene will definitely be pleased. Of course, why I, I'm already super happy. Anyway, we should also thank Mr. Enos for helping us make such a wonderful meal. Hmm. I'm just gonna ask just in case. Though, what is this? I haven't seen post post chant pie before, Paimon. Uh, that sounds and looks like you use it to cast some kind of forbidden magic or something. Why? Oh. Yeah, that's horrible. Uh, you're the one who called it Postal Chant. Also, look at all these fish heads. Uh, <laughs> they're so cute, right? Yeah, they look just like a card in a picture book, with everyone holding their heads up high and singing happily. Which part of the dish even remotely looks like what you're talking about? Uh, since any of you have seen a post-chan part pie before, then maybe we should give you two a serving first. You both were a big help after all, I mean... You look after us just like Miss Serene does. I say the Serene's a bit noisier and noisier at times. Uh, actively trying to help we help when we don't need help, don't need it. That is just the way she is. But either way, Mr. Inz and Paimon are better at caring for people. Anyway, we should we would like the two of you to accept our goodwill. Awesome, this looks delicious. No. Mm, thanks. Uh, he looks so happy right now, Mr. Inus. Alright, let's get, let's go give the person um, pie to Serene. Okay, let's go. Am I coming along as well? Yep, yeah, I mean, you help prepare the ingredients after all. And besides, the more people who eat together, the merrier, right? Will this really be okay? You look for Serene together with everyone else. Well, I suppose this should be fine now. Oh, hello, Venus, Pamela. There's something you need. What are you doing, Serene? Oh, are you talking about this thing? Well, Shannon accidentally broke the water bottle she usually carries with her, so I came by to try and fix it. So, Venus and Pamela, do you need some to help with something? They live on the water. Right next to water. Uh, they carry water bottles around? Do you remember what day it is? Don't you think of it? Today's the day that I'll need to submit a report to Monsieur Novelet. That's not what we're talking about. Seriously, you should consider yourself more. It's your birthday, you know? Uh, come, everyone, all together now. Happy birthday. Uh, how do they know their birthdays? Uh, they don't really age, do they? And they don't really remember when they were born or inside elephants. Um, uh, Inus helped us prepare a totally unique poison jump pie for your birthday. This is for all the time you spend taking care of us. And for all your help when I was trying to communicate with Mr. Chesil. Uh, well, you're really noisy sometimes, but as long as you don't suddenly pop in and interrupt my thoughts, you're welcome to be even louder if you want. Uh, everyone... Come on, it's, 
there's no way to look at your own birthday anyway if we don't eat the poison chip pie we spend so long preparing soon you got cold come let's eat you too mr inus my mom my days but we're born for such venture do i really have to eat this well here goes nothing but we should have a new at least you enjoy this strange poison chip pie with the melusines so it looks really strange, the taste isn't as bad as you expected. On the contrary, it's quite delicious, so long as you can stomach the stares of the fish heads. Their eyes still gleamy with a strange light. Hmm, it tastes pretty good. Matter? Humanity might not yet be ready for this wonder. Hmm, I thought it tastes good. It looks... Uh, come on, make a wish and make sure it's a wish for yourself. Uh, if that's the case, my wish has already come true. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Inus, my mom. That's it, you. Shouldn't I be next to Serene? Yeah, but I w actually what I wanted to check was how you have something new. How can the chiller was doing around here? What's up with her now? Serene. About the book of revealing. So scary, terrifying. If it wasn't for Mr. Inus, I don't know what would happen to me. But why? Why would monsters appear in such a beautiful place? Is it really that? No, not gonna keep thinking about that. Uh, it wasn't easy for me to forge a life for myself here. You'll find another page or want to meditate, the book hasn't moved. But please, be careful. So, will there be new pages in the future? Are you alright? Thank you, if it wasn't for you, I might never have made it back. Mercy Village is beautiful and everyone is really nice. I should treasure life a little more. Uh, the world around me. Perhaps the world of meditation is not as wonderful as I once thought. Okay, so... I don't know, maybe that was something new? Hmm... Okay, let me wait another... It should be a single day, but... Wait, I waited two days, it didn't work, so... When I needed two days, I had to wait three, so... Two days it is. And then... Back to Earnshaw's place. Hmm. Oh, here he is already. Oh, did she run away? Children, you... I... Whoa, Earnshaw, what happened? You're out of breath. It's not right. She... She's being abducted by Haley True. Okay, so she's fine. Well, I understand why we'll be worried. Uh, oh, no. Uh, it went that way. I'll go find help. Please go after it. Got it. Let's hurry. So he wasn't really well when we met him last time. And the trailer just completely ignored that. 
there he was there. Oh, and then there's one in Shotor is about. Well, ah, it's you too. We good now? Jeez, so it's you, Caterpillar. You have Paimon worried there. Oh, it's Miss Inus and Miss Paimon. Uh, oh, this is such fun. My favorite people are all here. And Grandpa made a big and sweet birthday cake for me too. Oh, so it's another birthday. Uh, oh, so today's her birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, is there any cake left? Uh, we already finished it. What? Are you serious? Come on, caterpillar. Are you alright? Don't worry about me. Today's a happy day. So let's not talk about anything that might dampen the mood. Anyway, thanks, Ignus. What are you talking about? Uh, it's nothing. It just feel, I just feel like the last time the members of the kids team got together was a long, long time ago. Why did you bring me here, Cutter? Uh, that was weird, not to mention how Grandpa Earnshaw was scared when he saw you. Even hero prince and princess were scared. Uh, whenever Grandpa hears me talking about you, he always said that he loved to invite you to our place as a guest. Well, considering his appearance, Caterpillar, what didn't you want to transform into a human, you know, like before? It's not like... It's not that I don't want to. It's just... Mm. He's great, just the way he is. And just a moment ago, I was sitting on his shoulder, and I easily picked some bull fruits. Also, it's amazing how he runs like the wind. Lanora, you must remember what I'm about to tell you. If you ever come across someone who looks like me, do not approach them. Run away quickly. Such individuals are very dangerous. Really? But you're not bad at all. Lanora, give me your word. Promise me. Initially, you thought that Caterpillar might use his tricks to influence Lanora. However, he doesn't do that. He instead simply waits earnestly for Lanora's response. But, okay, I promise, Cutter. But, but if I do so, how will I be able to recognize you in the future? Alright, you know, Cutter, I didn't realize how big the world was until I left the fortress of Mirror Pit. Uh, every day, I walk in different directions, but I still haven't seen any walls yet. When the sun is out, it's hot, and when there's no sun at night, it gets cool. Oh, and at night, there's also a breeze blowing towards the lake, and it feels chilly. It's not like a fan at all. Why is that? Also, Hero always looks up at me and Grandpa when he's lying next to us. And he sometimes kicks stuff with his hind legs when he's sleeping. It's so funny. And when I walk on the grass without wearing shoes, the little blades of grass tickle between my toes and it feels kind of prickly. I thought the grass would be soft like they describe in the books. Oh, and the flowers that Estin gave me. Uh, there are so many of them outside. But those flowers have roots in, that firmly grow into the ground. Why is that? This world is so big and strange. And there are so many different colors of light. I have so many things I want to tell you. So, so, so more, many more things that I want to hear you tell me too. But uh, how can I find you? Uh, if I feel like the mage's apprentice who wanted to find the little fish so badly. Okay. Okay, I think I vaguely remember the story. I don't remember what happened to the fish. Uh, so, you still remember the story? Of course, there's no way I would forget. I've been waiting for you to come back and finish telling me the whole time. The whole thing. So, in the end, did the apprentice find a little fish? Hmm. Well, many, many years later, the foolish apprentice plucked up the courage to bid farewell to the great mage, left the workshop and embarked on the journey to find a little fish. 
but he had never seen the vast ocean before, so he had no idea what the little fish's homeland was like. Therefore, he had to ask for directions along the way. He asked the reeds by the river upon hearing his story, the reeds laughed so hard that they bent over at the waist. You, you are looking for the ocean, said the reeds. It is a place much wider than, and greater than any river, the destination where rivers flow into. He followed the flowing river and eventually reached the vast ocean. However, the ocean was so vast that he didn't even know where to begin. So he asked the violet gold angler go resting on the pier. He was astonished by his story and dropped the fries he was holding in its big surprise. But it, this is an impossible task, the girl said. No one has ever, I mean ever, tried to find a common little fish in a vast ocean. Besides, who knows, it might have been have already deprived his silence the girl by stuffing its mouth with bread, disregarding it and its noisy companions. Then he continued along the coastline, asking and searching as he went. Since he was a foolish apprentice, he only knew how to search in the most foolish way. He spent a lot of time learning how to dive, and again and again he swam further and deeper into the ocean. He must have found it at the end. If you wish hard enough and you don't give up, your wish will definitely come true. That's what Grandpa told me. Uh, you like stories, happy Annie's? Well, Grandpa Ensho is right. Despite being a foolish apprentice, he finally managed to find a little fish in the most foolish way. When he found it, the little fish was swimming freely in the water with its family amidst the ever-shifting school of fish. But the apprentice recognized it at first glance, even among countless others of its kind. Finally, I found you. The prince had fulfilled his wish, but his emotions were not as jubilant as I imagined. Instead, he felt somewhat bewildered. The school of fish curiously surrounded him, urging him to explain the whole story. He clumsily explained everything, and finally, as if relieved of a burden, he released a long string of bubbles into the water. I must apologize twice, said the prince. Once for not summoning the courage to help you when you sought my assistance in the past, and once for the abruptness of my visit here. After finally seeing you again, I realized how selfish I have been. I thought that if I could apologize to you in person, I could forgive my past self. What does it matter? The little fish's response surprised the apprentice. You see, in the past you couldn't help me. But I have still returned to my homeland, back to the embrace of my family. I have made harms, so you don't have to seek anyone's forgiveness. You have spent so much time and effort over such a trivial matter, I can't decide whether to call you upright or foolish. But even if you are foolish, we don't mind being friends with foolish humans. No. Oh. So, does that mean that? They finally became friends. What happens then? Then, well, they became the very best friends. Uh, that's it. So, Carter, is that how the story ends? Mm-hmm. That's the end of my story. If a good story doesn't end in the right place, it will lose the fun. Heroes will become evil dragons. I've heard of stories that didn't want to end. And when they finally did, they were with but horrible endings and everyone in their stories had their hearts broken those were bad those were bad stories but dear Lenoir, the story of you and your adventures is still ongoing happy birthday and one day you have to share your story with me won't you mm -hmm, I promise I will gather I'll find you and then I'll tell you tons of stories. Then I'll make you the biggest, yummiest birthday cake ever. Uh -huh. I think we can skip the cake. I don't even know how. I don't even know my birthday. Just the day I woke up. Thank you, Lenore. It's because.
Ah, lateral, lateral right. Grandpa, I... Ah. How does he get to Fontaine to call for a guard? Because we'll have to climb or swim around from his house. Ah, that's great. Thank you, Inus, Paimon. Thanks, both of you. You don't need to thank us. Well, it was just Paimon. Uh, but, well, Paimon gets it. Oh, thank goodness you're okay, Landora. That's such a relief. Thank you, Grandpa, and thank you, Mr. Inus and Paimon. Please don't run off like that anymore. I was so worried. So sorry for having you go through all this trouble. It's fine, as long as she's okay. Are you really okay, though, Lenora? No, I get it. What are you saying? Why Mr. Indus didn't say anything to Grandpa? So I won't tell Grandpa either. I won't make Grandpa worry because I'm a good girl. You're a clever girl, Lanoir. No, I'm not. I don't understand what, what Carter meant in the end and why he thanked me. I mean, he's the one who's been helping me all along. Uh, when I grow a little older, I'm going to find him and I'm going to ask him. Then I'm going to say lots and lots of things to him and feed him the yummiest birthday cake. Sir Inus, Miss Paimo, when I grow up, we can go find Carter together, please. We'll talk about it when you grow up. I'm oh, fine. Okay, deal. They leave. Hmm. Yeah, the thing is, this quest could really continue at all. But... They should make her... Grow up as well. And I don't think... It would be weird for her to grow up and... No other child around the world. Still going on about the letter. I need to get some rest. About Agnes, about Lenora. The child's just like her mother. Okay, I think it's the same thing. What about during the day? sort of cake card likes cake oh it's just wonder if flavor cake should not make for Carter's birthday because now that I think about it Carter always gives me food but I don't know what he likes to eat does he like blue fruit or sunsetia actually since he's that color maybe he likes mint but more importantly I've got to find Carter wait for me to grow up Mr. Inus and we'll go find him together That was close, what's wrong? I didn't, think that, I didn't think that there would be any hill troops that dare to attack people so close to the covert fontaine. I don't know what I've done if Lenore was hurt, but thanks to you, I was on a mind to not let her run around again, but if I did that, how different would life here be from the life in the fortress of Mirapid? I suppose just keep her company more often. So that if anything happens, she will at least have some adults to rely on. To you. But if they care, uh, don't have your loved ones worry about you, right? 
Okay, so in the end, I suppose I did everything I had to do in the tower. In the not in the tower, but in the in the mirrors. Mm -mm. Okay, I think that the actual quests from 4.2 are complete. Another one of those. It hurt me before going back. Oh yeah, now they have that marker there. Okay, I think just that was remaining here. If I go here, where does that take me? Now I'm back to another floor. Get lost around here. So let's check around. Um, it's probably just to get the, the chests. I maybe I could have left some behind. I can live through here. Um, I didn't pay attention, but maybe I can from the outside get to get to this level directly.
Сейчас понял, да. I can't enter from here. Okay, so let's just see where does that take me to. The same. I thought it would be here, maybe. Should we just left to the door? It's just not a yet. risky <laughs> investment actuary. Yes! Away now. I don't remember the name of the guy, but maybe he was. She was saved by the one that was being better. Let's begin. Let my magic begin. Yeah. 
Stay cool. Face your guilt. Shower me with that. A gift for you. A grand prize. On the way now. Stabilize. Let my name echo in song. You A moment, please. Let my magic begin. Solidify! On the way now. Have a safe trip. Don't remember the name. But since they apparently don't drop again. Just sold. Uh, what's the name of the thing? Damage, what is mysterious? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I can only get one per day. And there can only be one in the inventory at any time. Ah, so see, apparently since I got one here, I won't be able to get a drop from the other one. Well, let's test it. I know when I sold one, I couldn't get from the same. But since I got one from one, and now... I sold it. Let's see. This doesn't take long to defeat, so... I can get a an achievement when I sell the third one. But okay, I can get a new one every day. Not that I will after the achievement. Mm -mm -mm. Let me just check the story here. Uh, yeah, it's been a few days. You should have Gather. restocked if she does. Solidify. In the Tauga. Mm, it doesn't respawn. Okay, so let's take everything. Yeah, it's like the star or Melusine Village. Alright. Thanks, Zenus. Thanks, the Tauga. Passive boxes, treasures, melusine. Um, passive, did you run you out of sort of other stuff? Passive, go out, passive, find. Ah, you're going to find more stuff. It's fine, you don't have anything with you. That's right, we can just give it to Tauga anyway. Melusine, find more friend, Ernest. Ignus friend, Ernest. So swap. Uh, well, alright then. How long will we be out, Passive? Are we gonna see you around? See you around? Well, that's how we express the desire to meet again. See you around is how we say goodbye. That's right. We did say previously that we'll teach you how to say goodbye, didn't we? Well, why don't you try saying that? Goodbye? Uh, do not know what that means? Well, you can consider it a sort of exchange or swap too. Uh, kind of like swapping one tomorrow for another. Uh, that's a weird way to put it. You take a bit of your tomorrow and give it to us. And we'll give a bit of ours to you. And that's how we'll meet again. What do you think? Get it now? Swap tomorrow for tomorrow. Passive. Um, it looks like you get it. In that case, let's say see you around for now. The way we'll definitely meet again. See you around. Passive. See ya. See you, Ignus. See you, Paimon. Hmm. Tomorrow and tomorrow. Hmm. Um, so. Hmm. 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 
complete, complete. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. Okay, let me just double check. A few little things here, but I think they are complete. I think I'm done with everything I had to do on part of point two. Oh, no, no, this is just... yeah. <laughs> Gather! This is order! Yeah. A more, please. Stay cool. Face your guilt! That. Okay, no, I can't even enter through here. Okay, so maybe I did complete everything. Maybe I was just passing through and killing anything that was inside each of the rooms. But I didn't notice the red thing fish on the other. Uh, on the other rooms so I'm not gonna check them now I know I couldn't enter the uh, sunflower painting uh, mirror and I got one marker here remaining for quests but I think it's a duplicate for one I passed already Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I still think we should be always a place where we couldn't see everybody. Especially on birthday, since they every, every time send us letters telling us to meet them for birthday. Okay, I'm not gonna talk to all of you. Just yawn. Uh, what is the meaning of work, really? Hello there. Hello, I get the material needed to dig right away. Oh, it's you. I mean, again, traveler, it's my pleasure. I know. That's not a mere formality. Seeing you is like seeing a gear turning on the intricate axis within a clock. It is as if my life is still on the right track. Still feeling the pressure? Well, yeah. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I'll admit that. It just, just means that I'm taking every problem too seriously. That's what Rotary and Semaine always tell me anyway. But I still don't believe that being serious is a bad thing. That's why I've expanded the document workload here by three times, I suppose. But don't worry too much about me. I'll do my best to finish my work. You go about your day too, alright? Okay, These no ridiculous long quests with you. And uh, yeah, nobody here. 
Alright, then I guess now I'm done with everything from the version. And I can probably 40 days. Yeah, I'm gonna wait this for the next year. What is that? Is that a ah it's a bird? But uh, I'll probably do that before. Uh, if there isn't a new event in between but i'll probably just play genshin again next year well let's try i haven't even tested her you know i didn't really spend that much trying to get sino let's go for 10. yeah no 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 not that sure uh Mm. Mm, mm, mm. No, no. Oh, already? Alright. And I'm out. 